Welcome to Greg's Guitar Gear. My name is Greg. And today, I'm improving my practice with the Launchpad Mini. If you watch guitar videos on YouTube, you probably know Paul Davids. And you may have seen his video on looping with the Ableton Push. You may have become interested, went to the Ableton website and... How much? I know I have. Luckily, I think I found a cheaper alternative. This is the Novation Launchpad Mini Mark III. A device with a long name, small size, low price and huge value for money. Let's start with the basics. The Launchpad is a MIDI controller designed specifically for Ableton Live. It costs around 100 euro or 120 dollars. It has 64 RGB illuminated buttons in the main part and 16 more buttons on the sides. The session mode is used to launch clips and scenes. The buttons will match the colors of your clips and flash to indicate currently playing ones. The three custom modes can be configured to have drum pads, piano keys, faders, sliders, or just custom MIDI messages, and it's all doable from the Novation Components app. It also comes with Live 10 Intro Edition and a ton of plugins actually worth more than the device itself. So, how do I use it? Here's a live set I created to practice some blues and rock. The first two yellow tracks are drums, and the first one is straight patterns. I can have some simple things like just kicks or hats or I can do a full basic pattern and I can even add fills if I want to every 4 or 8 bars On the shuffle track I can combine kicks and hats with the straight tracks to get a simple shuffle rhythm or have a full blues shuffle pattern with fills every 4, 8 or 12 bars. The pink track is bass. I can either have the classic 1, 6, 5, 4 chord progression in C or G, which goes great with the straight drum pattern, or a 12 bar blues in E to go with the shuffle pattern. Now I can either practice my chords over these or I can add some loot chords to do some leads. I have a clean... or power chord guitar track for the straight progressions. Or a crunch one for the blues. By the way, the guitar sounds are all made by a strum session plugin by AAS which you get free with the launchpad. Now, I'm approaching my limit here by the intro edition having only 8 tracks and scenes, but I can have unlimited live sets with different keys and progressions, and I still have one track that I can use to add another instrument like this piano, using the Addictive Keys plugin by Excellent Audio, also included for free with the launchpad. And I have one more track that I can use to record loops of my actual guitar, if I want to completely improvise something. The Launchpad is a great tool, capable of doing a lot more than what I've shown. It can be used for music production, live performances, looping or writing songs. The value you get for your money is immense. The device is only around 100 euro and the software you get bundled with it for free is worth well over twice that amount. See the description for a full rundown of what is included. The pads on the mini version of the launchpad do not support velocity, but with the ability to add sliders and faders, it should still prove useful for other programs. That's all for today. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see next. Stay tuned for more content. See you soon.